Hello, good morning. This is Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church in London, United Kingdom. It's a blessing and a great joy to come your way once again with God's word of faith and hope for your day. I want to encourage you from Psalm 86 and the verse number 17. It says, David prayed and said, show me a sign of your goodness or your goodwill so that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed because you, O oh Lord, have helped me and comforted me. David, the man of God, was anointed, was led by God, and yet he had certain insecurities and fears around him. He had enemies, and the Bible says he prayed to God to show him a sign of God's goodness. Goodness means something that is done to you or bestowed upon you that brings benefits to you that is beneficial to you he said show me a sign of your goodness david knew that in psalm 23 he prayed and said let goodness and mercies follow me there is something about the goodness of the Lord, the supplies of God, the mercies of God. These are beneficial to you. And David said, show me a sign of your goodness so that those who hate me, he had people who hated him. And when we live on this earth, we will attract some enemies. Sometimes we make enemies for ourselves and there are others that we don't know anything about them, but they just hate us. They hated you because of who gave birth to you. They hate you because of your own talents and your skills. Because of your progress that you are making or because of the blessing that God has given to you. So we attract enemies. People who are just envious of us. And sometimes we are forced to have sleepless nights because of our enemies. And our fear that our enemies will triumph over us and prevail over us makes people have sleepless nights and worry needlessly. And David prayed and said, God, show me a sign of your goodness so that those who hate me will see it and they will be ashamed because you, O oh Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Everybody need help. And everybody needs some comfort. I don't know what you have been through and what your day yesterday and the past few days and the past few months had been. But I bring you good news that God is your helper and God is your comforter. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the goodness of the Lord will bring you help and bring you comfort on every side. It may be a moment of pain. It may be a moment of frustration in your relationship, in your marriage in your job prospects, in your health, in the life of your children, I pray for you that this day, as you go about your day, God will show you a sign of his goodness and that your enemies will see it. It will be so obvious that they will see it and they will be ashamed in the name of Jesus. Psalm 84 verse 11 says something powerful. It says, for the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows grace and favor and honor. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. I pray this day that God will not withhold any good thing from you. He says those who walk uprightly, determined to walk uprightly this day. Uprightly as in walking in line with what is written in God's word, that you walk in the fear of the Lord and pleasing to the Lord. Believe God, trust him, He's speaking the truth. God has no business lying to us. So we need to have faith in him and to believe in him and walk uprightly. And the Bible says no good thing. God is good. God does good things. And this day I pray that goodness and mercies shall follow you. In every aspect of your life, as you go about your day, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, that God will show you a sign of his goodness, that your enemy will see it and they will be ashamed because God has helped you and comforted you. Receive the help of God this day in every aspect of your life. I pray it shall be well with you when you lie down. It shall be well with you when you rise up. It shall be well with you when you go out and it shall be well with you when you come in. Have a blessed, peaceful and productive day. And until I come your way again tomorrow, this is Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International in London, United Kingdom. Be blessed with life. God bless you and bye-bye.